Good Tuesday morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Brett Luna, and for the most part, we have seen dry conditions that stick with us overnight. Only a few light showers going on, basically in our far southeastern areas. Otherwise, everybody has stayed dry, and that's how we should be staying for the rest of today. Not really expecting any rain to move into the area. Temperatures are a lot lower this morning than they were yesterday morning. It's only 44 right now here in Greenville with winds out of the north at 7 miles an hour. That does make it feel a little bit cooler. It feels like 40 right now in Greenville. Over in Greenwood, numbers are a little bit higher. 52 right now in Greenwood with winds coming out of the northeast at 6 miles an hour. A little bit of a wider look showing much cooler air in place in areas back out west. So parts of Arkansas seeing numbers in the mid to upper 30s. 38 in Pine Bluff, 39 in Monticello, Arkansas, 36 over in El Dorado. A little bit further south, temperatures are in the lower 50s and mid 50s. 51 for Vicksburg, 54 right now in Jackson. Here's a look at our future cast view and that's the cold front that moved through yesterday. This is what brought us a round of some strong and some severe thunderstorms. All that activity will continue to move a little bit further off to the east. Behind that for us in the Delta, not really expecting any rain chance moving in behind that. So we should be staying dry for the rest of the morning. Also staying dry for the afternoon and evening hours. And then during the overnight hours, most areas I think still will stay dry, but we will bring in about a 20% chance for a few light showers very early tomorrow morning. By 7 o'clock, Futurecast is basically keeping most of that activity out of our area. A couple of the other models, though, were bringing in a few showers very early tomorrow morning. Nonetheless, though, as we go through the rest of the day on Wednesday, Futurecast along Highway 82 and north of Highway 82, bringing in some of that rain by about noon. And then that rain chance will just increase as we go through the rest of the day. So by 5 o'clock, expect some widespread shower activity. Not really expecting much thunderstorm, if any thunderstorms at all, with this, though. And then for Wednesday night on into Thursday morning, that rain chance will be sticking with us. And then for the rest of the day on Thursday, Futurecast is continuing to take that a little bit further to the south and to the east. I still think, though, some more moisture could be coming up a little bit further from the south. And that will leave us with another better rain chance on Thursday. Then on Friday, we could see some showers for the early morning hours. As far as rainfall amounts go for Wednesday and Thursday combined, I think we should see about three to five inches of rainfall possible. So flash flooding will be possible for Wednesday and for Thursday. For today, though, not having to worry with any of that. Temperatures in the mid-50s, 54 by noon, 55 at 2 o'clock, 54 at 4, and we'll be down into the upper 40s by 6 o'clock. Then a little bit later on tonight, lower 40s, 41 for your low, mostly cloudy, 20% chance for a few light showers at very late tonight and very early tomorrow morning. Then for the rest of the day tomorrow, bumping that up to about an 80% chance for some rain, 47 tomorrow. Winds out of the north, northeast, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then for your seven-day forecast right here, Wednesday and Thursday, those are going to be the two rainy days of the week. Once again, could pick up between three to five inches of rainfall as that moisture moves into the area. Saturday and Sunday, as of right now, should be drying out a lot better. Sunny on Saturday, 58. Sunday, mostly sunny, 61 for your high temperature.